Nigel's joining me for lunch to discuss his so-called British menu. It's packed with 60 dishes from around the world. Um, do you get involved with the food at all? Yeah, I'd, I'd discuss it, obviously, with Martin. Mm -hmm. Incredibly, Nigel's fiercely proud of this silly menu. So I'm going to be brutally honest with him. Okay. I'll have the shark steak topped with tomato salsa and mozzarella. OK. Must be a bit of a Hampshire thing going on there. <laughs> oh, dear. This is Nigel's idea of a modern British classic. Cheesy shark. What was the chef smoking when he came up with that one? <laughs> have you tried it? Well, that, that's fucking ghastly. Well, that's a surprise. Huh? Mm. Now, don't get all defensive. I don't like it. Huh? How's your lamb? Beautiful. Honestly, really, do you think the food is good? Yeah, of course I do. You're, you're playing with me, aren't you? No, I think you're taking the piss, Gordon. That's what's happening. Sorry, shark and mozzarella. Sorry. Is. Let me go through your menu to see what you put together. Oh, it's see. easier to take the piss out of other people's stuff. We're going through my menu now. The shark's half a centimetre thick. Yeah. It's cooked and then gratinated. So it's cooked twice. It arrived with a plate full of water. So the fish was overcooked before it even got anywhere near my mouth. So why are you trying to be smart? If I said to you it tasted shit, accept it. Not a great start. I want to try Nigel's favourite, fillet of beef. This is cooked by Peter. So, you know, what a great experience for just 18 years old to be cooking from the best chefs in the, in the world. Maybe we should ask Nigel what I'm going to think about it before we go. I know what you're going to Thank think you. about it before you even try it. How did you find the steak? Um, it looked like someone was sick on my plate. There you go. That's fine. Um, apart from that, the steak was cooked nicely. Martin's fiddly foreign dishes take ages to get out of the kitchen. What's the sauce, um, Martin? Yeah, prawn, sweet and sour. We're only 30 minutes into the service, and some of the food has been sent back cold. This has got to be the worst day of my entire life, to be honest. What did you do to help this gentleman? We've taken his meals off the bill. Uh-huh. Been here three hours. I mean, what is the time now? I don't know. Yeah, quarter to eight. Yeah, got you at five o'clock. Right. Joking it. Martin said he could cope with 200, but I've proved he can't even cope with half of that tonight. It's never happened before. I'm not happy about it. We've been stitched up tonight. Not doing it. Dodge. I'm not doing it anymore, mate. Well, well, who's stitching who here? You can pull it back together, can't you? I really can't be bothered. I don't like this and I don't want to do it, mate. I didn't want to do it in the first place. I'm out of it. What's going on? Neither Martin nor Nigel accept responsibility for the mess and want a scapegoat. Unsurprisingly, Nigel sees an opportunity to get his own back. We've been stitched up tonight. No, I've never been stitched up. Oh, come on, that's, that's We've dreadful. never had a fucking night like this, Gordon. That's I swear to God. Let's, 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 have we ever had a night like this? Why are you shouting? Why are you shouting? Why have you done this to us? Why have I what? Why did you do this to us tonight? We've never had a night like this, never, since we've been open. Don't be so ridiculous, will you? Shit food. Fucking red mullet frozen from Thailand. The what fact that we're not performing, the service people. is all over the place, the customers are fucking Why complaining. Why did they put 90 people without giving us any notice? There's still 50 you haven't even fucking served. So what are you blaming me for this? It's Phil, the 50 haven't been served. We Don't didn't even count get a chance. how many's on the service. We Don't count and come we back. We didn't even get a chance. You're a weak man, because you just pick oh, on that. fuck us. off, Gordon. Don't call me a weak man. You're Who a the weak fuck man. Do you think you are? Why don't you open your eyes, get your head out of your ass and try to look at your business yeah. objectively?